Okay, so pay, are you ready to pay attention? Yeah. Right, yeah. Nope. Alright, so now here's the deal. What we're talking about today is we're talking about computer math. Alright? Now why do we need to talk about computer math? Because it does appear on certain tests. Okay? I have to be somebody that actually enjoys computer math. Okay? When I was in high school, I actually went to Brooklyn Tech and they spent a lot of time doing that. So what we're going to do today is do like kind of a review, but we're also going to learn a couple of things. Alright? So now the first question we're going to talk about is, what is the physical equipment? Write this down. Oh, what? Yeah. Is the physical equipment all right uh, that makes up a computer system called that makes up a computer system called? All right, so take a second, write the question down, and then I want you to take a couple of guesses, all right? What's, is it multiple choice? It's not multiple choice, but I want you to just brainstorm. I want you to think about what you think we call it, and then I'm going to try to give you the right answer, okay? I'm going to try to do this I'm going to attempt to do it. It's you might be wrong. There's always a possibility. Because I have you guys here, I don't think I'm going to have that problem. All right. Now, first things first. Can anybody tell me uh, what are some key things that a computer must have? What's the main thing a computer's got to have? Hard drive. Got to have a hard drive. All right? All right, got to have a hard drive. What else? What else? <laughs> what else does it got to have? <laughs> got to have a hard drive. What's another key thing you must see? Yes? CD-ROM. Okay, CD-ROM. Okay, CD-ROM. What else? <laughs> what else do we need? Help me out. Come on. A screen. <laughs> we need a screen, right? All right. So we got a hard drive. We got a CD-ROM. We got a screen. What's something else we must have? What do you got? Think about a computer. Keyboard. Keyboard, yeah. You need a keyboard. All right. You need a keyboard. Oh, really? You see you. Now, you see these four things? Hard drive, CD-ROM, screen, keyboard. All these make up one thing, and that's actually the answer to our question. Uh -oh. All right, these are key things that you got to have on a computer, but they also add up to the answer for this question. So the question says, what is the physical equipment that makes up a computer system? Okay. What do you think? What's the answer? Is it like those really old, like the big square things that you have when it you that comes with those really old computers? Like a computer. There's a computer screen, right? It looks like this. Yes. Let's say it's sitting on your desk. Then it's got something really tall that sits next to it. Yeah, and you got a computer. keyboard right here, right? Yeah. That's the real computer. What's this called? It's really a computer, isn't it? It's called a tower. Tower? Wow. But inside of it, what does it hold? The, the CPU. Yeah. What does CPU stand for? Central processing unit. The central processing unit. Right now, one, two, three, all of these equal to the answer to the question. What are all these things? What's all that stuff? Technology. Huh? Hardware. That's the hardware. Very good. So the answer for this question is hardware. All right. Hardware. Wow. Hardware. All right. Here's the hardware. Now, if I was putting a body together, right? Now, I just got the torso. What would be something that I would need to add to my hardware? What? The arms. The arms. Yeah, maybe some arms, okay? What else would be something that I need? Legs. The legs, okay, what else am I missing? Brain and head. A brain and head, okay. Now, what part of my body would be considered to be the CPU? Brain. 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 The brain, right? And what about a CD-ROM? What on my body would be considered to be the CD-ROM? Memory. Me hey, there you go, memory, very good. All right, what about a keyboard? Fingers. No, Maybe my fingers could constitute a keyboard. What do I use as a human being to help me to enter information? Mouth. Oh, no. Ears. I can use my ears. Very good. What else can I use? Eyes. Nose. Eyes. Very good. Nose. All these things are called what? The five? Senses. Senses. So your five senses kind of act as your keyboard. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So for this question, just so we know, tower, screen, keyboard, all these things make up the hardware. Okay. Now, if you take a computer math class or you take a test, they may ask you a question like that. Okay. The next, now, how many of us actually own computers that look like this? You still got one? No. <laughs> you still got one that has a big tower? Yes, but it doesn't work anymore. Oh, I have. Mine it. has a tower. Yours still has a tower? Mine. 
What about yours? Yours has a tail? You have it? Now look at that, the apple one. See the apple one over here? Does this have a tail? No. Have no. Where's everything on this one? Inside. All the guts are inside the screen, right? So this is a more advanced <laughs> version. A so little tower here. The guts are inside the damn head. What else is really cool about the apple? What can you do? You can move what around? The keyboard. keyboard. Years ago, what did you have attaching it? Yes. Wires. A wires, right? So this is what? It's not wires, it's... Wireless. 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 Very good, okay? Very good. See, that's what you want to think about. Okay, so let's go to the next question.